So let's say that I have two arbitrary matrices, A and B. A has dimension N by M, and B has dimension K by L. I'm careful here not to use the same symbol for any of the dimensions, because I want them to be completely arbitrary. Now we can state the requirement for multiplication. A times B is defined if and only if M is equal to K. M is the number of columns of A and K is the number of rows of B. So the requirement is that A must have the same number of columns as B has rows. That is the requirement. The product itself, A times B, will be a new matrix and the dimension of this product will be N by L. That is, A times B will have the same number of rows as A and the same number of columns as B. If I want to do instead the product B times A, it's exactly the same rules that apply. So B times A is defined B has the same number of columns as A has rows, that is, if L is equal to N. And the resulting matrix B times A will have as its dimension the same number of rows as B, that's K, and the same number of columns as A, and that's M. A nice way to remember these rules is to write it in the following way. Let's say I want to try to do A times B. Just write below each matrix its dimension. A has dimension N by M, and B has dimension K by L. The indices, which are right next to each other, must then be the same. So M must be equal to K. And the outer indices, N and L in this case, will be the dimension of the resulting product. Try it yourself to write down B times A with its dimension and make sure that you get the results for B times A. So let's say I have a matrix which is 3 by 5 and another matrix B which is 3 by 5. And I'm considering whether it's allowed to do A times B. So write A times B, the dimensions below, 3 times 5, 3 times 5 and check. If these two numbers are the same, then it's allowed, and we see in this case they are not the same, so this is not allowed. Another example, again, let's say that A is 3 by 5, while B is 5 by 3. Write it, A times B, 3 by 5, 5 by 3. Now, I can check the numbers next to each other. They are the same, so A times B is allowed, and this will be equal to a new matrix, and if I want to know what the dimension of this new matrix is, I just check the outer numbers, and I see that this must be 3 by 3. You should just convince yourself, for example, that B times A is allowed as well, because 3 and 3 are equal, and the dimension of that will be 5 by 5.